Welcome to From Field to Stream TV. In this program, we're out with Mike Reed and several of his friends who are going to show me the art of falconry. I hope you enjoy the program. Okay, so we travel the hawks in the travel box, as you can see. Just get her out. So she just sits in there on the perch, quite happily, normally. Okay. It's a female goshawk. This is my own, she's nine years old now. Just tie her on just now. Put a tail guard on them for travelling in the box, that protects the tail. It's obviously very important the birds are in good fair condition. Um, and that just keeps them from getting damaged in the box if they jump around at all. Flyer birds with telemetry. Got two transmitters here. Got a variety of mounts, this one's got a tail mount on it. So we put a little clip on the tail there beside the bell. And that just pushes through there, or should do it, and sits on there. So therefore if the bird flies after a pheasant out of sight and to cover, we can track them down using this receiver. So we put one on the tail, and we mount one on the anklet here as well. Simple cable tie. We generally fly Gossock with two transmitters on just in case one fails because the flights are often quite long and the bird can go to sight. Also the bell, if we're in close proximity we can hear the bell as well, it's another means of, of identifying who the bird is. So that's it all secure, ready to go. Um, we have a leash, what we call muse jesses for attaching to the, the swivel there, when it's uh, whoever's slip it is, they'll remove all this and they'll only fly with the thin straps. There's no loops on the end of them, so there's no chance of them getting caught up in a branch of a tree or anything. Whereas these ones obviously have slits in the end. So that's her, ready to go. We're just waiting everybody else getting ready and get the cars locked up and start the day.
Is spectacular you can see this one it's working away in front of its handler and as soon as one of these dogs finds game and comes onto point you'll hear the beeper now the beeper is activated only when the dog comes on point and this attracts the handler and the falconers into the area where the bird should be Good girl, Julie. Good girl. Good girl. Go on. Go on. More action here beside this old crow cage. Dogs on point. And we'll wait and see if there's anything there. And yep. Woof. And in this case, the bird actually got the pheasant about a quarter of a mile further down the woodside. Once the dog's actually found the bird or rabbit or whatever, you sometimes have to get in there and stomp away to get the, the thing to flush. And just at the, the end of this stomping, we actually do get a flush and a capture. Uh, come here, oh. Yeah, it is in slow mo. See the hole going up, bang. Pheasant comes down, one in the bag. And here we see Mike coming in to another point. Yeah. The hook's away, bird's Ooh. away. At maybe half a mile down the field, the hook comes in and has a bird. And that concludes, for me, one of the best days hunting I've seen in many a long time.